very special. <laughs> Obviously, the locals here enjoying it, Jeff, but there's that dark cloud hanging over everything with this Peyton Manning story. Being a former quarterback as well, you feel for him a little bit that it looks like he's not going to be able to go out on his own terms? Well, you know, that, yeah, you definitely feel for him. Uh, what he's done for the, for the city uh, is, is a great thing. But, uh, you know, I also think Indianapolis has been great for him. You know, I'm uh, um, a Hoosier, you know, being from here, I, I know what the city has to offer. Uh, but, but again, I also know what he's done for the city as well. But yeah, you hate to see him go out that way if, if in fact, if that's the way he goes out. But um, first and foremost, you have to take care of your health. And uh, when you have kids, you understand that. And now that he has a, a couple kids of his own, uh, you have to think of your long-term future. But, but the other side of me says, uh, you know, once in a year an athlete, uh, you always want to get out there and play because, you know, look at me. I'm still trying to say that I can get out there at, at my age, which, you know, I feel like I can. But, you know, I haven't had three neck surgeries, so I don't know what he's going through. But uh, hopefully it all works out. Hopefully he can get back on the field. Uh, but, you know, at some point in time in your life, you have to realize that, uh, you know, football's not everything. And, and uh, he's, he'll be pretty fortunate to do whatever he wants to do after football and he'll be successful.